Welcome to my live reaction of Zoro vs. Urza. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm of course rooting for my what boy Rowan Oa Zoro. The fighter has stood the test of time. The swordsman. And today's combatants are two of the best all they're talking about anime, but they're using all live action swords. Rowan Oa Zoro, the fearsome the swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. No trunk in there. What the hell? Scarlet, the battle mage of the fairy tale guild. He's wears an arm boomstick. Man, they have the rule against our job to analyze their weapons, there. armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. As a child, Rora Noah Zoro. Rora Noah was not his name! His name is Rora Noah Zoro. Come on. But he didn't just enroll at a uh, dojo. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description to the actual video. Sort of Go around. watch it to force her attack. Zoro's dojo training sharpened Whether you like them or not. With a sword, but there was one person he could never quite manage to beat. His sensei's daughter, Kuina. They dueled a lot, and Kuina won every time. I mean, well, that's Kuina. She looks nothing like the other women in the theory. Damn, you think Even as a kid, all the girls looked very similar. Kuina looks so different. I like that. Kuina and Zoro were very close friends. Together, they were not friends. That they rivaled in a better word. One of them would become the world's best swordsman. And then she fell down some stairs and died. Even they agree. It just seems like an unacceptable way there. for a master swordsman to bite the dust. Does thin out the competition for world's best swordsman though. Kuwait True. Is dead. I mean, that's I'm how I became the world's best shotgun woodcutter. I need a video. After Kuwait's death, Zoro inherited death. her sword. I have to tell you, but she got a blood further. That's pretty much the proven story, so though. The current title holder of world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk. But he immediately got himself lost. <laughs> With nothing better to do, he became a bounty yeah. hunter and wandered around the ocean until he ran into a weird oh, God, the pirate killer. kid. Dressy pirate. Nothing not a kid. He's eighteen. He's seventeen in it. How is that a kid? Worked out pretty well since Luffy was Why are you looking to hire him anyway? Kid. He's seventeen. Turns out Zoro has quite a reputation. And post time, if he's like nineteen. At this point, 19. he was already a master swordsman, and after finding and training under Mihawk, his swordsmanship became mine too. legendary. He created his own fighting style, Santoryu, also called Three Sword Style, because he uses three swords, one in each hand, and one in his freaking mouth. Oh, film this. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, I mean, sure. The profile is pretty correct care so about far. Safety. Not that I agree Regardless, with. with the Three Sword Style, Zoro can perform several unique attacks, including <laughs> the Onigiri. Where he strikes with all three okay, blades. Okay, so Tony got only getting the yeah. Tetsumaki, where he Tetsumaki kicks a good. tornado dragon. By swinging his swords a certain way, he can fire compressed air projectiles toward an opponent. Like with his deadliest technique, the 1080-pound. What do you got the Ashira? And right last but not least, he knows the Kutoryu Nine Sword style. Wait, did he just grow four more arms and two more heads? How the hell did he do that? It's just an illusion, but it still somehow has physical presence. Mm. He's like a human slap chub with a <laughs> total of nine swords. That's one way to put it. <sighs> In addition to his skills with a blade, Zoro is able to use Haki, a mysterious okay. power that every living it. being possesses, but only a select few have learned how to use. Uh, so that's few, yeah, like, like, every, like, like every single damn person in the new world and besides, like, only has a try chocolate and vanilla. Every week. Chocolate, I... What? I, I don't even... Well, one of those flavors is observation hockey. That's vanilla! Of course. Which, in some yeah. ways, is similar what? to Spider-Man's Spidey Sense. Zoro can sense the location of other people, even if they're invisible or far away, and can also predict most opponents' attacks. Then chocolate, everyone's favorite hockey flavor, is armament hockey. This lets him form an invisible armor around yeah. himself as protection, or harden his swords to make his strength. We had no confirmation. With the both hockey, Monet, Zoro has May. been a real asset to the Stormhead Pirates. Hockey. They've traveled the world and had a lot of weird adventures. Like that time Zoro fought a literal living mountain man named Pika and sliced him clean in half. A strike so powerful it didn't just cut through Pika, it sent his top half flying upward. Considering Pika's enormous size and approximate mass, this strike had to have been more powerful than the first ever deployed hydrogen bomb, the 11 megaton Castle Romeo. Whoa, also, wow. Zoro's pretty damn fast. One time he moved so quickly he seemed invisible to a room full of highly trained assassins. 
and when the odds are against him, he'll keep pushing himself, even <clears throat> past the point of bleeding out. Uh. Thus, he's powered through some incredibly intense pain, such as... Oh, I, I always question the pain. Holy shit! How the hell is he still standing after that? That's a good question. After a battle with Kuma, a bear man because this is One Piece, Zoro took on not only his own He's a own man, not death, a bear man, Junior Reeter. Despite I'm being kidding. told that doing so I'm would surely kill up him, right out but there. it just didn't. And he doesn't even brag about it. What a badass. Zoro is definitely the stoic badass type, but he can't do everything. Yeah. He's a sword fighter above all, and prefers to fight up close and personal. He also has the world's shittiest sense of direction. <laughs> he gets lost without someone there literally reading the map for him, and could never survive on his own without his friends. You might think Zoro yeah, yeah. would be more of a lone wolf type of guy, but no. Much like how Kuina's death spurred him on to become a great swordsman, it's his friends who keep him fighting. Not really. I set sail for only one reason, to meet you. It's an ambition to keep Zoro going. It's Frankfurt edition. Urza Scarlet grew up I will in a small get there, town called Rosemary Village. It was Zora, pretty Urza picturesque. There I tell, I get, you know, I'm call Hold on, Wiz, I'm getting a premonition. Despite everything seeming perfect, something, something terrible happens. A murderous cult attacked, destroyed the city, and enslaved the children to build a tower to resurrect their evil overlord. There it is. Young Urza was tortured, and while she may have lost an eye in the process, she also gave I don't know, how did, Zora, how did he get that eye back? I forgot. He actually gave Urza her last name, Scarlet, after her red hair. She and her buddies swore they'd escape, so Urza ended up staging a revolt and saved the other slaves thanks to discovering You're not her getting Derek credit, powers. and a strong female Unfortunately, character. not music. everyone made it out. Turns out Jalal got possessed by some spirit that made him a huge dick, and she had to go without him. Fine, if you want to leave so badly, then I'm Why not going to stop you, dumb but you'll have to go alone. It, it, After that nightmare, Urza swore to, to dedicate her life to helping and protecting the innocent, and so joined the uh, fairy wait, tale magician's guild. Luckily oh, for them, I guess she Urza possessed became a guild master of the manga. Her okay. main okay. thing is re magic, magic now. which is basically okay. like having an armory with you at all times, without having to lug it around. re magic allows Urza to summon her vast array of weapons and armor at will meaning she can use multiple combinations of swords, lances, and outfits I'm all in one right fight without ever really that. slowing down. Damn, that'd be useful for all my weapons. How many is she packing? She's rumored to have access to as many as 100 sets of armor and 200 weapons. Nice! As far as armor goes, she probably her probably use the standard heart cruise set. But there's also the Heaven's Wheel armor, where she can send swords flying at people, the spiky defensive adamantine armor, and the black wing and flame empress armors, which have wings for flying. Don't forget her giant oh, armor, yeah. which she uses with a lance, purgatory armor, which has a lot of spikes, and uh, seduction armor? I'm not really sure what purpose this serves. <laughs> Probably to make enemies terribly aroused. Oh, Ever tried to fight with an erection, Wiz? <laughs> Believe me, it's not easy. Right. Well, Urza claims her most powerful armor is the Armadura Fairy Armor, which is very... pink. These are fancy and all, but sometimes she doesn't even bother suiting up. If her back's against the wall, Urza equips her clear heart clothing. This enhances her speed and attack over defense, and channels all her magical energy into her katanas for a decisive blow. Okay. She can charge magic through I'm her sword. I'm just paying attention to right now. The I don't want even the mixing right now, weapons no. and armors. I don't know these things. Fight. She's also just really good at sword fighting. Actually, she's really good with a lot of weapons, including hand to hand. All of this makes Urza an excellent addition to the Fairy Tail Guild. She quickly became one of its highest ranking mages and was the youngest member to ever pass the S-Class Mage Promotion Test. An incredibly difficult gauntlet only the strongest and wisest of warriors can even attempt. Speaking of achievements, she's pretty friggin' strong. Don't believe me? Well, here she is, lancing a hole through a giant floating cube. This cube was about 100 million cubic miles in volume. To punch through it, Urza's lance must have dealt about 16 kilotons of force. Urza's also fast enough to deflect bullets point blank from a flintlock what pistol. Guns with a muzzle velocity of about 540 miles per hour. And that's without a speed boost from her armor. 
Right, many of her armor sets grant her stat boosts, increasing her speed, magic, defense, etc. She's survived plenty of destructive blasts, including one that blew up an island. Considering that island's size, that's an explosion equivalent to two Wait, kilotons what? of TNT. Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, I heard that. sexy, can survive island-busting attacks, and has a shit ton of weapons? She's basically perfect. Just wish she used a gun or two. Well, she may have a vast armory, but swapping them in and out requires magic, and she can run her supply down if she's not careful. So it's just like a mana bar in those fantasy games. Yeah, like a mana bar. Exactly. Um, though even when she's out of magic, she's still quite deadly in hand to hand. Like when she fought her alternate self from another parallel universe. That universe has a lot less clothing. Sign me up! But when you're among the best in the guild, you get the job done no matter the limits. I will withstand any physical pain oh, to God. protect the ones that I love. Oh, Earth. All right, the oh, combatants are it. set. Let's end this debate kill once and for all. It's beat. time for a death battle! That's like the really nice pit there in Laurel and the really crappy pit there where the Oh, sorry lady. Could you point me in the way of the shipyard? I've been looking around for hours. You're the one I'm looking for. Come peacefully and you won't be harmed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe later. Then we'll have to do this the hard way. Sora, just like, told you, I'm busy. like I don't care. Oh. Fine. Well, I guess okay. we're doing this now. Okay, Zora doesn't talk or his play that. You're coming with me! Ooh! Neat trick. Okay, he's gonna have to be an happy daughter attack. No, I'm going to got it. Try laughing at me! Nothing is worse than the loss of life. Uh, don't start crying, uh, woman. Overtake it, yes. So much for all that true strength bullshit, huh? Uh, okay, I feel pretty good. No. I can do this! I will fight for my kill! For my strength! For my friends! Bring it on! Okay. You're not the only one who fights for their friends. You're right. Zoro, Luffy fights for a friend. Zoro fights if he has a goal. Kidding. Zoro fights for a friend. Okay. Zoro. Oh. Oh. Wait. What? Zoro. What? Okay. He got Zoro. Okay. What was that shipyard? Kyo. Jesus. Talk about a killing blow. In the past, Urza Zoro could react to projectiles man. flying over 500 miles per hour, but Zoro could move faster than the eye could see. U.S. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently spot and recognize an image in 1 220th of a second. Good job, So, Zoro. in this case, Zoro would have had to move from point A to point Not B, about. which yeah. is about 57 feet, in 4.5 milliseconds. That's close to 9,000 miles per hour. That's more than five times faster than a bullet. Urza didn't really rely on speed anyway, and there's no evidence any of her armor magic could have helped close that wide of a gap. Speaking of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately for her, she was simply outclassed in damage dealt. Yeah, Urza could withstand hits of about two Urza. kilotons, like the blast which destroyed that power. island. But Zoro has dished out much stronger blows than that. Slicing Pika in what? half, for example, was equivalent to 11.5 megatons, 
that's about 6,000 times bigger than anything Urza has survived. And while Urza's artificial eye may have seen through Zoro's Nine Sword style illusion, it couldn't prevent him from actually attacking her. She also had that habit of stripping down to clear hard clothing in a bind. Yeah, it gave her more sword power, but at the cost of less defense. This sounded like a good idea on paper, but close range combat was Zoro's bread and butter. Urza was mostly self-taught, and while proficient with a blade, Zoro has trained with swords all his life. Even with the greatest swordsman in the world, an up-close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Yeah. Yes, you won't be getting a very good like, ending. No, the winner the is like, no, Zoro. Next time on Death Battle. Oh, dude, no. Deadpool, yeah! And Deadpool, Deadpool now. I'm Ben, I play Wiz, and next time, Deadpool is back. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> and we're doing something a little different this time. We're going to be announcing his opponent on the Death Battle cast. Which, if you haven't heard, is a thing. We launched a podcast around Death Battle where we hang out, talk, fight. Zora won. Death Battle, you okay. did good Thanks, for guys. once. I am very, very satisfied with this. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Um... I may make a thought video on it. I don't have much to say. I'm happy Zoro won. There's a couple of things they said that I don't think are 100% accurate. But I want to, I would need to double check first. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow is One Piece Chapter Day. So be excited for that. And I'm going to be back to doing my green screen reviews. I know I took a week off from that, but I'll be good at Thanksgiving. The rest of my review will be green, green, and all that kind of stuff when I can do it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more reactions, reviews, discussions, and all of that. And above all else, guys, have a great day. And tell me your thoughts on the death battle in the comment section down below.